Facebook dynamic ad creatives are the best way to run Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to view the performance of those dynamic ad creatives. Now, if you've been running Facebook ads, you probably know what dynamic ad creatives are. So if you found this video, you wanna know how to see the performance of your dynamic ad creatives. Now, the reason it's challenging to view the performance is because it's not like a normal ad. Dynamic ad creatives allow you to stack your ad creative with multiple images and multiple pieces of copy, multiple headlines and descriptions so that you can, Facebook can automatically split test all of those different options and create variations of ads and see which is gonna perform the best. So although it's great because of that, it's also a challenge because it makes viewing the performance of those more difficult. And so in this video, I wanna show you exactly how you can view the performance of those dynamic ad creatives in the ad account and how you can also use another method to view the top performing ad with the most engagement so that you can take that top performing winning ad and use that across other ad sets and duplicate it so that you actually don't lose out on all the engagement from those top winning ads. Now, before we jump in, if you don't know me, my name is Blake Bauer and I'm the co-founder and CEO here at Jet Ads. We're a digital advertising agency focused on helping D2C e-commerce brands scale to seven and eight figures. And we spent over $10 million and generated over $20 million for our clients. So if you wanna learn more about that, you can check the links in the description to apply to work with me and my team. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here. So as you can see, I'm in the ad account for our Facebook ads. Now, a couple tricks here I'm gonna get you to do to help you narrow things down we have a lot of different campaigns right here uh, something that i always do right here is go to the search and filter right here and then i go impressions greater than zero just to get the campaigns that are active over this time period so i have it set to the last 30 days that's what i would suggest you to look at it's a good time frame to get a good amount of data right here and you can see for this particular account here we have some winning ads where we've uh, spent you know, almost $10,000 generate almost $60,000 in a return. And so I'm gonna actually narrow down to this campaign right here, just so we can view what's performing best for this particular ad set. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go filter by selection right here to narrow that down. Now, once we have this one particular campaign right here, at the campaign level, what we can do is go to breakdown right here. And if you scroll down right here, you can actually see you will have by action, by delivery, by geographics, by demographics, but you're not gonna have the option right here to break it down by the actual dynamic ad creative. And that's what you're gonna need to do is go narrow this down to the actual ad set level. Now, once we're in the ad set level, go to breakdown again and scroll down and you will see now we have appeared by dynamic creative element. And so because we're at the ad set level, each of these ad sets is a dynamic ad creative. It has that setting on at the ad set level. So it allows us to now narrow down under this breakdown column by the dynamic creative element. So if I go to here and I go to, let's see by conversion value, we can see our top ad is now at the top right here. And let's only really narrow down by these four right here. So I'm gonna go filter by selection again right here. And I'm just gonna only look at these four ads right here because these are our top ads. I'm gonna go to breakdown right here, scroll down by dynamic creative elements. And from here, we can narrow this down by the image, video, or slideshow. So this is gonna show us the top performing creative as well as associated data with that. We can also narrow this down by text. We can narrow this down by headline, description, call to action, and website URL as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go by image first here, which is the most important thing is the actual creative element right here. And so for this one, we can see 16 and 16 V2 both have a dynamic creative element of an image. And there's a couple of different variations right here of this actual image. So from here, you can see I have my column breakdown right here and feel free to copy this column breakdown where I have delivery, budget, amount spent, purchase conversion value, ROAS, all these different metrics. And you can see for each of these images, it actually gives us the data for that actual dynamic creative element and shows us what's the top performer. And so you can see we had two different images right here. We had this one right here and we had this other one which as you can see is a little bit of a different setting a little bit of a different setup of that ad creative and you can see this one got 40 dollars in spend but got pretty much no purchases had a worse click-through rate a worse a cost per click and so all the spend ended up going into this actual ad creative and it generated ninety three hundred dollars in revenue for us at a 13 ROAS. And so this is obviously clearly the winning ad creative right here. So I'll open this up just so you can see here. And I wanna blur some of this out right here, but essentially this is what the actual ad looks like right here. And this is the winning ad right here. So of those two variations, right? This one and this one, this one was the winning ad. And it's easy to see that from this level. And same thing for this one, we can also see that dynamic element right here too for the images. So once you have narrowed that down right there, what we can do now is also look at text. So we can open up the text and see which of the text for these ads is performing best. And so if I just focus on this one right here, 16 again, what we can see here is we have this two variations right here. We have 
548 spend on this and 196 spend on this. And again, we have another winning performer right here, 15 ROAS on this particular text. And you can hover over this and it'll show you exactly what that text is. So you can see no need for DJs, no need for click tracks, right? And then we have this other one, which has more like benefits and a little bit longer copy. And so the shorter one actually performed a lot better for us, added 15 ROAS. And we can see the breakdown on all of this on some of the other ads too. And so we have this other performer here, which also did well. And for this one, again, not much spend there, so not much to look at there, but gives you a ton of insights into actually what's performing best. And we can continue to narrow that down. So typically what I'll do is I'll go through here and I'll go through each of these elements right here and sort this by the amount spent that I have right here, just to see which ones are getting the most spend as that's usually gonna tell me what's the best performer uh, and just kind of narrow down which are the best headlines, descriptions, images to run. And so we can see right here, this is uh, another headline that's performed the best, the secret to easily create custom light shows at a 12 row as on that one headline right there. I don't think we had any headline variations there. We just knew that was a winning headline. We can also see descriptions right here. So we have two different descriptions. I wouldn't worry about descriptions too much. As you can see here, this one has more spend and has a worse row as this one has less, but a way higher row as the description really doesn't matter that much. This is just running on the top ad, which I'll show you how to actually see that top ad in one second here. And then lastly, we have the call to action in the website URL right here. So if you are doing different call to actions, you can see that right here. We're just doing the one of learn more. I wouldn't play around with the call to action too much. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. The main thing here is that image and the text and the headline right here. So these three are your kind of bread and butter there. So once you've narrowed that down right here, you can easily clear the, all this right here. And then what you can do to actually view of that dynamic ad creative, the top performing ad that you can pull out and use in other ad sets and testing other audiences and other targeting settings is narrow down into this actual ad group right here or ad set, and then open up this ad, click on edit right here and open this up. And I'm just gonna blur some of this out right here. But from here, it's gonna show us this ad and on the right preview right here, it's actually gonna show us the top performing ad right here with the comments. Uh, and so that's very important because we wanna actually get this ad and be able to use this ad in other placements. And so to view all those top performing ads from this dynamic creative ad, and you can see here, we have two different images, two different pieces of copy, things like that, right? We can actually go to here and go to this sharing option uh, drop down right here. And then what we wanna do is click on Facebook posts with comments. And when we open that up, it's gonna bring us to, okay, it's gonna bring us to a page that looks like this. And you can see the actual top performing ad right here from our dynamic creative ad at the very top right here. And if you scroll down, it's just literally showing us this, like this is the ad that Facebook is running on that dynamic creative ad. And if we wanted to continue to use this ad, because this is the, again, that it pulled out that identifies the top performer. In the top of the URL address, there's going to be an ID there, a string of numbers that you want to copy. And then you can use that ad in other ad sets to, again, take all the engagement there and you know it's a top performer and test different audiences and things like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that actual post ID right there. So it's gonna be a Facebook, a series of numbers, and then posts, and then a series of numbers. You wanna grab that series of numbers there. If you go back to the ad account now, and let's go to here. And let's say in this one, I wanna actually create an ad. This is where we're not running a dynamic creative ad, but running individual ads of top performers. I wanna to go to create an ad right here. And let's just say top V1 is the actual ad name. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And instead of creating an ad, we're gonna change the setting to use existing post. And then I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna to go to enter post ID. And that's where you wanna enter in that post ID that we just grabbed from that dynamic creative ad that we know is the top performer. Post that in there and go enter. And boom, once you enter in that post ID, then you will actually upload that actual ad to here. Uh, now you might run into an issue where it says that you're not able to upload that post ID. And you can usually circumvent that by searching through the actual ad library right here by go changing post and just searching through your Instagram and your Facebook post right here and just trying to find that actual post if you can for that ad. This is another way to find top performing ads from your dynamic Facebook ad creatives is going to here and going to select posts. So again, going to existing posts, change post right here and sorting through here and just seeing all of these ads that are created right here that have zero like zero comments are gonna be created by dynamic ad creatives. Typically, if you go sort by ad posts and uh, you'll notice the ones that have a lot of likes, those are the top performing ones. And so those are the ones that you might wanna use again in another ad by going continue right here. And now you can actually use that existing ad 
as you know an ad creative that you want and you get all the engagement there and everything. So there you go. That is how to see the performance of Facebook ad dynamic ad creatives. I hope you found this video valuable. I hope you apply this to your own ads and start to pull out some of those awesome insights to improve your ads and scale your ROAS and your ad spend. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate you smashing a like button for that. It really helps my channel reach more people. So I'd appreciate that. And also leave a comment letting me know your thoughts or if you have any issues with anything. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, have an amazing rest of your day and take care.